From the warm springs of Florida, we're heading 10,000 miles away to Cambodia, where there could be a new brain box on the block. This is a sun bear cub. The sun bear is native to Southeast Asia and is the world's smallest bear. But remarkably, it has a bigger brain relative to its body size than any land carnivore. These little guys don't hibernate like their US cousins. They're always on the go. Over the past 18 years, the Free the Bears Sanctuary in southern Cambodia has rescued almost 200 bears from the illegal wildlife trade. Experts here believe that the sun bear needs to be smarter than the average bear to survive in the Asian rainforest. We're going to put that theory to the test and see how bright they really are. Sanctuary director Nev Broadis is taking biologist Patrick Ai to meet the bears and help test their intelligence. You know, one, one thing that I immediately notice about the sun bear is that magical looking golden bib. That's where it gets its name, the sun bear from. It looks like the sun when he stands up. He absolutely adores honey. Yeah. Is that something that he'd eat naturally in the wild? Yeah, this is a once-in-a-blue-moon opportunity to come across a nice big bee's nest full of honey. A 25-centimetre-long tongue and massive claws for climbing are a few of the adaptations a sun bear has to help it find food in the rainforest. But above all, they need to be very resourceful, and researchers believe this is why they are so good at solving problems. To see how smart these bears really are, we're going to set them three classic intelligence tests. First up, simple problem solving. Put some honey in that. Great. Nev fills a tube of tough bamboo with honey. It's too far down for a sun bear to reach with its tongue and is hidden by vegetation. Let me just chuck that in there. Honey. <laughs> if Rani can work out first where the honey is and then how to get to it, Come on, Rani. she'll show that she can think ahead to imagine the outcome of her actions. It's a mental process that so far has only been seen in apes and some birds. She should be able to smell the honey in there, right? That's right. She'll leave her greens till last. Probably pull those out. Honey's what she's after. Yep, too deep for a tongue. Whoa! Literally one bite. Rani has cracked the first problem-solving test. She worked out that the smell of honey came from inside the bamboo, and that by using her jaws and claws, she could break it open and reach her tasty prize. But do sun bears have the brains to match their brawn? The second intelligence test centers on something called object permanence, which is the ability to understand that an object still exists, even though it can't be seen. For this test, there are three buckets and a banana reward. Five-year-old Fortnum is facing this challenge. Fortnum has to watch under which bucket the banana is hidden, then go and retrieve it. It might sound pretty simple, but scientists have shown that it's only the cleverest animals that will consistently identify the correct bucket. Once they lose sight of it, most animals would behave as if the banana no longer existed. So that he can't simply sniff out his reward, out he comes. All the buckets have been scented with banana. Well, it looks like he's going directly to bucket number one. Surprise! <laughs> ding ding. Do you think that he's actually remembering where it is? 
Yeah, sure. Because he's not sniffing each of the buckets. He clocked which one had the bananas in it, went straight to it. Fortnum gets it right time after time. Bingo. He's done it. We don't have this ability until we're over a year old, and experts believe that the skill has developed in sun bears because of the challenges they face in the forest. I think it's got a lot to do with the environment. Their territory is very large, but they have to remember where fruiting trees are, they have to remember the seasons that the trees will fruit, um, they have to remember where water sources are. So it does require a level of intelligence that perhaps you, you wouldn't find in a different landscape. The final and most demanding test is one that only the most intelligent animals, including great apes and dogs, can pass. And to make it really difficult, this one's for little Alfie, who at just 12 months old is a long way from being a fully developed sunbear. More tasty banana is put into one end of a tube. The catch is there's a sheet of perspex dividing the tube in half, creating an invisible barrier between Alfie and the treat. Coming in from the right, Alfie must work out that to get to the banana, he can't access it from this side and must go round to the other side to reach the reward. At this point, most animals would continue to reach uselessly for the fruit before giving up entirely. Perfect, look at that, getting his head well in there. Go on. <laughs> He's got it. It's taken well this clever one-year-old just a few minutes to solve a puzzle that baffles nearly every other species that's tried it. So it seems that the sun bear is not just smarter than the average bear, it's also one of the brainiest animals on the planet.